Yo, what's going on? Today, I really wanna talk about one of my favorite tips whenever I get into spray painting and doing public art and large scale work, and that is how to lower the pressure in a can of spray paint. So what I have here is my sort of go-to cans, the brands that I use, and really whenever you're trying to do a lot of detailed work, you really have to focus first on getting the right can. So the cans that I have here, um, this 94, this Montana Gold, and this Cobra, all low pressure. And you can sort of see um, on the can, they have sort of labels that will tell you it's low pressure. This one's actually high pressure, but the same technique can be used on high pressure cans as well. So the tip on getting a lot of detailed work is sort of the can control, and that's basically the wrist and your fingers. I used to airbrush for a long time. This is my airbrush here. So this technique right here of sort of controlling this little nozzle right here, sort of translated when I get into using spray paint, and I still use that today. So my, so it wasn't as hard for me to get into spray paint and sort of figuring out how to control the caps, um, but I still need work at it. Also, the cap that you use is really important whenever you're sort of doing detailed work. So I use this little skinny cap, it's the level one cap right here. It goes to level, I believe six or seven, um, but usually I only use three caps in whatever project that I'm doing. This, is, this one right here is one I use all the time, um, but they also come with the regular sort of stock caps. And then you have like this uh, calligraphy cap right here that one of my friends used to do a lot of detailed work. They get really skinny lines. So, how do you lower the pressure of a can of spray paint? The first technique that I learned was really helpful and I use this all the time and that is really just turning the can upside down because the way a can of spray paint works is that you have the cap up here, the nozzle that connects to the cap is all the way at the bottom so when you turn it upside down that nozzle opening is still up here and when you're spraying all the paints down here and what you're spraying out is going to be the gas propellant. So when you're picking up a new can of spray paint and even though it's low pressure, it's still you know fresh, it's still new. So you have to sort of get out all of that propellant gas and sort of lower the pressure so that you can sort of control the can or the cap a little bit better with your finger. Um, you're just gonna spray for about I'd say one to two minutes based on the sort of the amount of propellant or the paint in the can. And really you sort of know exactly when to stop it. Um, it starts to hiss really loud at the beginning, but then it sort of gets softer. And then also the can gets really cold. So you're starting to feel the can get really cold. That's when you know that you're spraying out a lot of propellant. So you can do this, like I said, for about one to two minutes. You can go longer if you need to, but really uh, once you start figuring out the technique and using it, you'll start to understand exactly um, how long you need to sort of flip the can over and just spray. So, you know, whenever I'm doing detailed work, especially a lot of my figurative work uh, requires me to get really detailed in the eyes or the nose or the lips, I'll have a set of uh, colors that I will use for those areas. And then I'll sit down and actually just spray propellant out of out of all of those cans periodically, uh, especially the new ones. So that is how I'm able to get really detailed work uh, whenever I'm doing sort of the murals that I do um, is by lowering the pressure and that technique, like I said, turning the can upside down and just spraying out uh, as much propellant as I want to. So like I said, I do it for one to two minutes. Sometimes I'll go to three to four minutes, um, but really it's up to you. Second technique to lower the pressure of a can of spray paint is by actually putting the can of spray paint in a cold area. So you can actually put it in the refrigerator. I got my refrigerator in my studio space, so I can just throw that in here with the Lean Cuisine and leftover in that little freezer part. Got the Red Bull as well. So just throw it there, take it out. There we go. I know you're not gonna have a refrigerator or a freezer at every location that you're at, but you can also have a cooler full of ice. You just get ice at the local gas station. You know, throw all your cans that you really want that low pressure in that can or in the cooler and just leave it in there throughout your job. So whenever you're trying to, you know, do some detailed work, you know, you can just pick up that can out of that cooler and just use it and throw it back in there when you're done. So whenever you're sort of trying to do low pressure, like I said, the cooler 
of a can is, the lower the pressure it will be inside, and that will help you get a lot of that detailed work. So hopefully that helps you when it comes to figuring out how to do a lot of the detailed works. Like I said, lowering the pressure in a can will help you sort of figure out how to soften the, the trigger so that you're not having to sort of always press down really hard because the softer it is, the lighter it is on the cap, the easier it is to sort of trigger and to do your work softly. And that's what's really called can control. So building up that technique, um, use, are using those techniques and building up that sort of can control with your hand, getting used to sort of the different brands as well and the different caps as well is something that you really just have to take time in doing. And once you sort of master some of that, those techniques, you'll start to see your work get a little bit better because you're able to control how the paint sort of lays on the wall or canvas or whatever you're doing. So if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe and definitely share as much as you can. I will see you in the next video. Peace.